All right, so now we're going to be taking a look at O1 entries just quickly, um, and then we're going to move on to O2s because O1s may basically doesn't look in the registry except for one little thing, which we're going to look at. So O1s again relate to the host file, and the host file in the registry is located at HQ local machine. Collapse that system. Current control set. Services. Um, and then we are going to find it at TC PIP, which is somewhere towards the bottom here. There we go. And parameters. And under here we have database path. So this points to the host file location. If malware wants to submit a modified hosts file and wants to have the registry look to that modified host file, or if malware wants to hide the host file from the registry, they can just change this value and um, quite easily make it so that the system cannot find uh, the internet or the host file, basically. So as you can see from that, it's pretty easy for malware to screw up your system, and I can edit it myself to make it so that the system is not very useful. The O3 section we're going to move on, this, I mean O2 section, we um, are going to look again in HKLM, but back under software, and it's still going to be under Microsoft Windows, Windows, current version, and then explore, and then down, well up here, browser, well, believe it or not, I don't actually have the key, because I don't have any, uh, but browser help objects, browser helper objects is going to be located under here, and you will see them in a key called browser space helper space objects, and in there you're going to have some CLS IDs. But because we have the time, we're going to the O3 section. O3s are going to be listed as HKLM again, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, and then I don't have this one either. I don't think. No, I have this one here. Toolbar. And under Toolbar, you will see a list of toolbars listed as CLS IDs. And you can get a scoop on what your toolbars are by taking a look at this folder on an actual working machine. Uh, again, I don't have any of those. The O4 section is an interesting section, and this is one that every single startup program is going to use. So if I install malware, let's, or let's take a, a rogue, for example, a rogue antivirus, it's going to have an O4 entry. Uh, so this entry is going to be listed under HKLM software 
um, Microsoft um, all right Microsoft Windows current version and then run so right here we see these same entries that are listed in hijack this one two three but if we look at the difference between the way hijack this displays it and between the way this displays it this doesn't call it an 04 entry that's hi that's just hijack this is classification of it um, so this folder there there are actually two of these one is the identical folder in HKCU and you will be able to find the startup items that are specific per individual user inside those locations so right here if I wanted to kill VMware user services I would just delete that and that would not start up anymore so if you feel like managing your startups in a in a fancy way you can go and manage them this way if you feel like you want to take a take a different trip and try something else I think I'm blanking out tonight uh, I'm a, I'm a little tired right now so I I forgot to mention that there are several types of keys that are 04 entries so you have run keys which is HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version run and then the values under that and then there are run once keys which is HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version run once and then the values under that and then there are run services keys which is HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version run services and then there are run services once keys which is HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version run services once and then you have values under that and then there are run once EX keys which is HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version run once EX um, and then you have policies explorer run keys which is HKLM software Microsoft Windows current version policies explorer run and then values under that that you modify and all of these have counterparts that is the exact same path under HKCU for the individual users of the computer that have their own specific startup configurations the only one that doesn't is the run once EX key and those are used to launch a program once and then remove itself from the registry so this is specifically used by installation programs or maybe something like malware bytes that just wants to or combo fix that wants to run itself after reboot to continue removal of malware so that's where those are used um, the run services keys are used to launch a service or background process whenever a user or all users logs onto the computer the run services once keys are used to launch a service or background process whenever a user logs onto the computer so unlike the services keys the run service keys when a program is launched uh, from run services once uh, the entry will be removed from the registry so it's a little like run once EX so the, that's what the run once keys do and then the policies explore run keys are used by uh, network administrators and those are for policies and stuff so uh, I'll, I'll just tack that on to my other video and uh, now I'll actually see you in part uh, six I think I'm going on